Ladies and gentlemen, there are two articles that I'm going to read right now. New York Times, how the picture of top secret folders at Mar-a-Lago came about. Federal agents arrayed classified material on a floor at former President Donald J. Trump's Florida residence for a photograph as a standard part of their evidence-gathering procedure. In its court filing, the Justice Department included a photograph of documents seized at Mar-a-Lago. What nobody realizes is that almost certainly the federal employees, the federal agents that did this, were videotaped. They were on closed-circuit TV at all times, almost certainly. Here you have a New York Post article, Trump and his family watched FBI raid on security footage, lawyer claims. It, quote, it's kind of funny. I think the folks in New York, President Trump and his family probably had a better view than I did because they had the CCTV they were able to watch, Christina Bob uh, told Real America's Voice. And so they have everything on video. The president, okay, so President Trump has everything on video. It's really interesting, too, because he probably has every single room with that closed circuit television, with with video evidence being recorded. Eric Trump talked about that also. So that's a New York Times article. Trump family watched FBI raid on security footage. And then you have all these articles talking about, well, there's this picture that was taken by federal agents. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. And he, here's the, the bird's eye, the macroeconomic view of everything okay the big picture the big picture is that he's almost certainly going to get indicted not because he committed a crime because you have people who have only contempt for this man they have devoted their lives mashed potato brains last night stated that trump is an extreme uh, obstacle to democracy a threat to our way of life and it's like he didn't name anything specific that trump did or that Trump Republicans are responsible for. If you look, if they say, well, you know, there's a, um, all of these horrible things linked to them. It's like, no, actually, and I support the cause of why people demonstrated peacefully two years ago, but you had one to two billion dollars in property damage, according to Wikipedia, 14,000 arrests with Democrats bailing out people who were arrested and, 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 at times, individuals getting bailed out and doing even, like, the most heinous things possible. And you had 19 lives lost, according to Wikipedia, last I checked. Now, do I support the cause? Yes. Was that political violence linked to Trump Republicans or people that might vote Democrat? Okay, that's obvious. Then you had, so I support the cause, but no cause is worth that carnage throughout the country. And, Democrat, and, and you had CNN saying, well, it's fiery, but mostly peaceful. And you had books j- rationalizing and, and defending that type, of the, the, let's just say, uh, the destruction of property. And so, so where, 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 was that, where was that coming? What political spectrum was that coming from? Again, support the cause. But I don't think it did any good for anybody. To engage in one to two billion dollars in property damage, according to Wikipedia, and 19 lives lost and 14,000 arrests. Then you have the Dobbs decision, and how many churches were burnt to the ground. So you you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where even in the face of all the reality and data and evidence, they've convinced themselves that Trump is a true menace to their existence, even though they have the House, the Senate the presidency, all pretty much all of media from Jimmy Kimmel to the Washington Post to social media algorithms, and he they still can't stop obsessing over the man. It's only a matter of time before they accuse an innocent, innocent man in the court of law of breaking, breaking the law, and they set him up with a dossier purchased by Clinton. So they have just only contempt and disdain, and they've obsessed over him for six years now. They have nothing. There's a recession. The economy is going to tank even further. And so hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. I talked about the economy. 
tanking in September and October of 2021. Read my Federalist article below in the description section. Hit subscribe, hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and also H.A. Goodman's other channel. But in a court of law or even before uh, the trial, let's say he gets indicted, and I think that he, I, th I think that he very likely will. Uh, if you read articles from Andrew McCarthy in the New York Post, they'll very, very, they'll very likely get him on obstruction, which also, even that is a big, even that's a stretch because you can't really, they're getting him on just having, owning the material he shouldn't have had because the National Archives wanted that material. Okay, um... President uh, the, the, Trump can simply say, look, we were negotiating for about a year and a half. And, and when we said we gave you all the, the classified data, well, you know what? There was a misunderstanding and it was simply a good natured misunderstanding or there wasn't an attempt to conceal to prevent some kind of investigation because there was no crime committed. If removing documents is an actual crime, then Clinton would have already been indicted. She was siphoning classified data for four years onto servers outside of the United States government. Then they say, well, President Obama, in conjunction with the National Archive, Archives, promised to digitize 30 million unclassified documents. He hasn't done so. The National Archives doesn't own those documents. How convenient. Okay, so you could point to, you could, you could then, as his defense, say, well, where's the, uh, how did the National Archives... Uh, clear or allow uh, former President uh, President Obama to have 30 million documents, and it's still not um, on the internet or on on a website for everyone to see. He he has control of those documents, not the National Archives. From what I understand, I could be wrong. I just read a couple articles on it. So so they're they're trying to say well he obstructed justice because he told the federal bureau of investigation that he had certain doc he had he had given all the documents classified documents and at the end of the day he still kept classified documents it's like well there was a negotiation and um the reporting pertaining to what his lawyer stated might not be accurate it could be accurate but at the end of the day the worst thing that he could they could get him on not only on the classified data, because he was president, he had the power to declassify, and he had the power to he he had the authority to 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 initially take possession of those classified documents, top secret, because he had the highest security clearance as president. They might get him on obstruction because they might say, "Well, you told us you would give us all the classified data. You didn't give us the classified data," and it's like, "Okay, look at Clinton with her servers." You should always, always engage in what, what Democrats call whataboutism. It used to be called hypocrisy. It used to be called um, hypocrisy. You know, um, people who have glass houses shouldn't throw stones at others. Um, do as I say, not as I do. Um, what's good for the goose? Okay, you know. And so, um, or though I forgot what... <laughs> figure out what the phrase is but anyway it used to be that you couldn't pontificate if you yourself engaged in worse behavior democrats have now called that or de people on the left what aboutism yes what about clinton and hunter and president obama with 30 million unclassified documents how do you get 30 million unclassified documents who looked over all the 30 million but that's another story clinton with and i want a hillary trump 2024 but clinton with top secret intelligence funneled into servers outside of the United States government, Comey st stated categorically, although there are violations of the law. He stated that. He said, although there are violations of the statutes pertaining to classified documents, um, we were not, no reasonable prosecutor would indict. It's going to take a long time for President Trump to um, wrestle control away of the Justice Department, of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, from Democrats. The Democratic Party doesn't run on any um, value system. They, it's just a pure, they're driven to just attain as much political power as possible, and they have social media algorithms preventing. So you have the New York Post suspended 
and then they say, well, Trump's a threat to democracy. They're actively suppressing discussion and dialogue of stories that, that, that show their own corruption. Okay? And we have a recession, so is that what democracy entails, having a terrible economy? There's an invasion in Europe under their watch. We can go on forever. He's accomplished nothing as president. And the country is descending into chaos. Crime all over the place. Homelessness. Poverty has increased. We had household median incomes at all-time highs under Trump. This is a fact, ladies and gentlemen. It's not like conjecture or an opinion. It is a fact that household median incomes were at all-time highs in 2019, before Democrats and experts and bureaucrats and media and all the smartest people in the room gleefully tanked the U.S. economy. Okay, so they said, well, we had to do that. No, that was a choice, and it was the wrong choice, and it was the typical apoplectic hysterical choice of... Um, people who obsess over CNN and MSNBC. But anyway, they they only want to take down Trump. They want to prevent him from running in 2024. He has the video footage. He's going to almost certainly release the footage either after he's indicted or before he's indicted. You might say, well, why are you so certain that I'm not certain? I'm saying the likelihood is very high. I usually make like predictions and a lot of them come like, come to pass, unfortunately. I said, well, fortunately, Trump defeated Clinton. I said Clinton would lose to Trump. And I told you, I told everybody we'd have a recession. Stock market crash is going to get much, much worse also. But that video footage is going to be key. Um, if anyone planted something, if anyone, um, if, if anyone added any anything to that photo, they, they have it. So... You have the video footage of agents. If they broke protocol, that will be part of his defense as well. If they broke protocol, that will be yet another example, along with the Steele dossier, which was nonsense. The people who believe fabricated things, usually Democrats, media, just promoting false, absurd things. Trump was never in a Moscow hotel room. If you believe that, you believe, you know, conspiratorial theories that you claim to be against, okay? It's it's like a message, the message board that was, that like some conservatives believe was complete nonsense and absurd, and I said that in 2018, that it was dangerous. The message board that Democrats believe is actually CNN, MSNBC, the Washington Post, and all the nonsense filtered through legitimate publications, cable stations, pertaining to Trump. They make baseless allegations. He's always, the walls are always about to close in. He's always about to get indicted and, 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 and criminally charged and, and, and convicted. And, you know, suddenly he just won't run again. And Democrats can have that recession they always wanted forever with Biden. So, or with another Democrat after Biden. But the thing is, we've had lies after lies told about Trump. They haven't indicted him on anything. They will eventually because they have nothing to run on, I think that eventually he'll leak the, he'll leak that uh, the security footage, either before an indictment or after an indictment. He'll definitely use it in 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 court. Okay, so he'll definitely use it in court, and that alongside with the Durham probe uh, conviction of the steel subsource in October, he'll 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 get convicted on one count at least along with other indictments from the Durham probe, along with other investigations from Republicans in the House. Democrats almost, Garland almost has to indict Trump, okay, politically, because you have momentum seriously shifting. The House of Representatives is going to be run by Trump Republicans. You'll have Jim Jordan, James Comer. You'll have others in the House that uh, and Trump lo loves Kevin McCarthy, so maybe Kevin McCarthy will will go to bat for Trump. Um, he he hasn't thus far, but you know what? Maybe there's something there. So you'll have Trump Republicans taking over the House. The Senate, I think, will still go Republican. I'm not making a firm prediction on that because you have people like McConnell who just want to undermine it. McConnell benefits somehow from um, from having from having Democrats run the Senate because then he could be this, maybe he feels he's this conduit, this middleman between Trump Republicans and Democrats. and It's like so dysfunctional. But 
there is no equivalent to McConnell and McConnell in the Democratic Party. Like Democrats want to win. McConnell does not want to win, which is why he disparages Trump Republicans. But anyway, um, you're not going to get the same enthusiasm. You're not going to get the same passion and energy with a Mitt Romney. You will get that with a Trump Republican candidate. Of course, Democrats and media say, oh, they're bad candidates. Look what Biden did. When was the last time? These are the people who, cl- who talk about norms and traditions. When was the last time a president said another political party was a threat to democracy? As these people suppress, s- control social media dialogue, um, a- actively investigate. See, they, they keep on saying that Trump wanted to go after his, his political rivals. His political rivals set him up and framed him. And then when he went after them, they said, oh, my God, he's going after Comey. He's going after Strzok and McCabe. They set him up and framed him. It's like... It's like they would, Democrats would never allow what happened to Trump to happen to them ever. So when they set up and frame Trump, then Trump says, hey, Durham probe, uh, you know, with these people committed crimes. Then they say, oh, he's going after his political rivals. They went after him. <laughs> anyway, hit subscribe to this channel. I do think that at the end of the day, he will release that footage. Um... And he'll either leak the footage or it'll be released formally or in a court of law. I don't think that it's, it's very likely it didn't go by the book. The possibility Rand Paul is right on what happened during that raid. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. There's a chance I might have a live stream tonight. I'm not sure.